The overall goal of this procedure is to measure the effects of injected insulin on hemolymph glucose levels in adult Drosophila melanogaster. This is accomplished by first allowing starved flies to ingest a concentrated glucose solution. The second step of the procedure is to inject glucose-fed flies with insulin. The third step of the procedure is to collect an uncontaminated hemolymph sample. The final step of the procedure is to determine the hemolymph glucose concentration. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show that exogenous insulin facilitates glucose clearance in Drosophila melanogaster through spectrophotometry. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, like decapitation bleeding of adults, is that this procedure minimizes gut content contamination of the hemolymph sample. Collect flies within 24 hours of eclosion by anesthetizing them using humidified carbon dioxide. Sort out female flies and place them into vials containing standard diet. Allow the flies to age for 10 days. After 10 days, transfer the flies to vials containing a 5 milliliter plug of 2% agarose and starve them for 12 to 16 hours. Transfer the starved flies to vials containing 10% glucose-soaked filter paper for one hour prior to insulin injection. To make the insulin solution for injection, dissolve bovine insulin in phosphate-buffered saline to a final concentration of 0.01 mg per milliliter. Also prepare a control solution containing only PBS. Add blue food coloring to both the insulin and control solutions to a final concentration of 0.5% and keep both solutions on ice throughout the entire procedure. Blunt the tips of freshly pulled glass needles by pressing them through a Kim wipe in order to create a stout tip with a larger pore diameter.